yeah, I mean, the, that's pretty much like cycling always been part, like a big part of my training. Like, um, especially when I started to have knees injuries, I couldn't run. So by uh, 16, 17 years old, I couldn't run. And uh, I actually bought my first home trainer. Like who, like how many hockey players buy a home trainer? Like uh, it, it's a cycling thing. Like I was a cyclist, even though, um, and I would do my intervals on the trainer. So like, and especially when I had my shoulder surgery, I did, it was a six month rehab process. And I spent like much and more, more and more time on my bike. And in um, 2011, I did a, an internship in California uh, to learn English because my English was actually not very good just a few years ago. <laughs> it's, uh, it's really good um, now. <laughs> and that summer, like I was doing an internship to learn English, but also I was training every day in the gym for hockey to return for my last season in the university level. And uh, that was the first summer that I didn't have my bike because I went to California as a hockey player. I didn't bring my bicycle. I, I didn't even know that it was possible to fly with a bike at the time. And during that summer, when I had my ankle injury, being away from my bike, it's where I realized like, I want to be on my bike. Like all these sacrifice that I'm doing, like it's not worth, like I was trying, I was, trying to make it to the Olympic Games. That was that was always been my goal in hockey. But then it became it became the center of everything. And I think I lost joy in hockey and and but I found joy on the bike. So it was like, it's not worth it. I want to be on my bike. So then I just switched. <laughs> and it's like it took me maybe a year or two and then I was like, hey, maybe I could try to go to the games on on my bike. <laughs> Since then, I mean, I haven't been yet. Um, uh, so since then, like I, I, I was already competitive, so it just continued. I continued. I have a, I had a good base when I started racing from hockey, um, and I, and still today, uh, I still have a very good, uh, like anaerobic power. All this like punchy stuff. All this comes from my background in hockey. Like I played for. Like 20 years so I just had to build endurance and now it's very cool because I have this endurance but I also have this layer of ability to punch and punch and punch in the race while if you look at cyclists who were in the sport since a very young age this, they've been cycling and then they struggle to reach that high intensity so it's, yeah. I have a very different profile because of that. I think that's why, okay, For so first, before I say this, but I do think that's why you see hockey players and soccer players really moving fastly through cycling because of that. But before we go further, what did your teammates think when you're like, I'm quitting hockey and I'm going to cycling? <laughs> um, actually, it was not that much of a surprise. Um. And it's funny because the coach was like, well, if you change your mind, like, uh, or like you can come on Friday practice because of often Friday we're like more like optional or like three on three or, and every time that he invited me, it was nice out. And I was like, I'm going for a bike ride. <laughs> I thanks, never went. but no thanks. It was like, since I, and I remember I was watching the Twitter friend and I had this, this moment, like, I want to be on my bike. That That's all. Like, it's not even about, I didn't even know I was going to be racing. It was just like, the process was just not worth, like, in hockey, I mean, the, the process of hockey was not worth it. And if I just spend more time on my bike, that's all I want in my life. And, and since then, I never, I never looked back. Yeah, I mean, why would I, you want to be yeah. inside anyways? <laughs> I mean, truck is nice <laughs> too, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I think I always loved the outdoor and and like I was ten years old, I was I was on my bike all day. Like I I would do, I did two hundred kilometer when I was fifteen years old. Like who do that? <laughs> and I was a hockey player. I don't know anybody who does that fifteen <laughs> <laughs> with like my backpack and my um, I had a a disc player. 
uh, CD player. Yeah. <laughs> I had two CDs. <laughs> and like, I did a, a three day bike trip, like 450 kilometers in three days by myself. It rained for the whole day, I, like oh with my, my backpack. And, and I was 15. I, I just uh, had this outdoor adventure, exploring. I had this in me. And, and I went to the end of my journey in hockey. And then, all right, it's time for something new. And, and, and it's really cool to know this because I know that, like, you can always change, like, career. It's the same for people. If you come to a point at 35, 40 years old, you come to a point where you don't enjoy your career. Well, you can change. Like, anything. Like, it's not because... and it, yeah it was hard in a way because I was identified as a hockey player like I had to change and I think that's why in cycling it took a long time before I was like oh I'm a cyclist because there's this identity and now I'm like actually like no I'm like cycling is not who I am like I am me um and I love to cycling you know yeah and like I, I still that. have my hockey number tattooed and it's kind of a remember a reminder that you can be very intense in, in one thing and then later on you get into something else and life move on and so I think now I have a much healthier relationship with my sport if that makes sense because yes. I've been yeah. through that process of going to the end of it and then oh there's something after anyway you know? Yeah, this isn't the this isn't the end of my sporting career. I mean, there's so many sports, yeah, especially yeah. when you get to such a high level. Like you could probably pick up any sport, honestly, and be good at it. Like next one, you can do pickleball. No, I'm just yeah. no, but I, you know, I would really like to try speed skating. I I tried a little bit, uh, maybe five six years ago. Try cla- cla- try skate skiing like like um, oh, I can't do that I get injured oh no 